All right, g'day and welcome back. And it's time to do something interesting. Now, I haven't got everything 100% ready. I've got to go and tame some seagulls. Uh, I can see plenty in the local area to grab. I need a whole bunch of them. And the reason why is I'm over here on B9, which is right near my base, and it has a trench. I've just spent the last, I guess, couple of hours uh, taming and breeding dolphins. And so there's actually 11 dolphins here, so there'll be one for me to ride and 10 for me to take along with me. They're all imprinted and ready to go. So this is going to be what I take down into the trench. But first, I also need a seagull. Uh, and the reason why I need a seagull is they have an oxygen buff and a swim sea bead buff. Uh, I did go into my skills and in the survivalism tree, you'll actually have the oxygen rate reductions. Uh, so I've also grabbed them. It gives you a total of 60% reduction in uh, oxygen. Uh, the seagull, the one that I had earlier, which I was testing with, gave me 18.1% on top of that. So it was getting pretty much close to 80% reduction in uh, oxygen depletion which is really quite significant. Uh, I timed it and I took about 37. So if I have a look at my oxygen. Uh, oh, I've lost a buff somewhere. I did have 113 before uh, and I don't have a buff anymore. I'm not sure where it's gone. But in this big long list of all the green text here, there is actually a 60% oxygen consumption rate, 60%. And that comes from the skills. And if you get a seagull, it does it even more. The only problem with a seagull is it will actually die uh, if you take it with you. Like its, it's oxygen will run out and it will die. I've already had that happen once. Uh, unless something else killed it, I don't really know. I did feed it, so I don't feel like it died because of uh, lack of food. But I want to grab a bunch of them. Um, just because that extra 20% oxygen reduction is going to be massive. Uh, when I had nothing on me, I basically consumed 37 oxygen in one minute. But then when I had all of the buffs, I consumed 5.8 oxygen in one minute. So it's really, really good. Basically, I can get 20 minutes underwater with a decent uh, seagull. So I'm going to go and get a couple of those now, and then we're going to go for a swim. Hmm. All right, it's really hard to see because it's getting dark. That's a little bit better. I am centered, so I'm kind of only just above the thing right now. I'll go a little bit further this way. Ooh, it's a sunken treasure as well. Don't really want a sunken treasure, but all right. Okay, we're right above the trench now. Let's get the most oxygen I can trying not to kill myself and then we go straight down we'll see what happens we should get ignored by everything except for maybe jellyfishes oh there's an edge of a trench there it's so dark oh there we go nice in theory i have 20 minutes my seagull's already dead it's already done and dusted Oh, my character is going to freeze to death down here. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, up we go. No, my character's going to die before then. Phew. Okay, that is certainly something that I need to uh, recognize. Oh, this sperm whale's coming to get me. Go and have a feast, boys. Sperm whale done. Now, we need some better armor because I'm freezing to death. Yeah, so... Mm going to minus 11 now I've tried testing out a number of different things and I mean I'm down here with minus 11 temperature I am obviously in the, the deep sea trench but I still have hypothermia uh, it's not sustainable down here like you can work out the oxygen component so you can like I can give myself 20 minutes underwater but 
at the moment, unless I completely respec everything that I've got and dump everything into fortitude, I don't know that I could actually survive down here. And yeah, I might have to uh, maybe leave the dolphins here, go for a quick trip, do a respec, come back and see if uh, the temperature gets better. Because at the moment, it's yeah, it's just not feasible to be down here. Uh, you can get here, you can breathe long enough down here, but you cannot survive. It's just too cold. Well, I'm back down. I've still got 10 levels to allocate. I've got uh, infinite stats on, which is why I'm not dying still. Uh, and even with, like I've got the vitamin balanced out, which means I get plus 30 fortitude. I put enough to get 100 fortitude plus the bonus 30 and 130 fortitude with mythic fur is still not enough to keep me warm down in the deep sea trench i've got 10 levels left and that's only going to give me another 10 oh hang on 20 oh, let's just dump it all in anyway um i've got 150 fortitude all right 150 fortitude and i still would be dying it's like, oh, well, it's middle of the night now. Probably, I'll have to wait till daytime uh, and see when it gets down to like minus 15-ish uh, in terms of the temperature and just see if I can even survive down here. All right, let's just put this into perspective. Okay, so I have hypothermia going on. I have all my vitamins balanced because I'm using the infinite stats mod, not mod, um, command. But the temperature is minus 15 and I guess it just went minus 14. In terms of skills, I have the, uh, not the oxygen one, it's this temperature one. So I have the water temperature fortitude buff. So I have a 45% buff to resist the depths of the cold. And that still isn't enough. On top of that, I spawned in mythical fur gear to give me a significant boost in my hypothermic insulation and it's not having an effect. All right, so still minus 14 degrees here. The, the, about, the only thing I can think of now is to just go ballistic on spawning in some fur stuff and just try and get the highest level fur gear I can possibly get and see whether I will survive. All right, ridiculous stuff. All right, so this, now, uh, when you spawn stuff in, you can choose basically the level of uh, the item that you want to spawn in. Uh, if I spawned in a level zero item, it would be common. If I spawn in something that's about level five, you might get the journeyman level. If I spawn in something that's level 15, that seems to be around the cutoff. So somewhere between 10 and 15 gives you mythic quality gear, which is what this stuff across here that I originally spawned in is. Uh, this stuff that I've now spawned in, this is level 50, so this goes well and truly way beyond anything that you're probably going to find. It's kind of on that, you know, you're probably never going to find that in terms of a... Uh, you're not going to loot this sort of stuff, basically. It's um, just ridiculous quality sort of stuff. Uh, to do that, I now have low temperature. It's not even just that I'm neutral. Now I have low temperature and I could potentially survive. Uh, and this is not even to say that uh, it would be day no, this is daytime temperature too so i'll probably end up staying down here until night time and see if it's actually viable um it's it's just weird all right all right so i'm editing this in after the fact watch what happens to my temperature thing when i jump off the dolphin here to turn infinite stats off and then jump back on uh, i'll talk a little bit later about it but um it's worth noting that the temperature changes my oxygen is depleting yes okay we're now down here as it's meant to be albeit that i should have spent a little bit of oxygen just to get down here we are now deep sea trench driving <laughs> trench diving but with stupidly good gear that you would not normally get if these guys could take on a crab You guys not attacking it? Will you attack it? They're not attacking the crab. Interesting. 
No, get off me. I don't like attacking it. That's a bit interesting. Well, at the very least, we can come down and we can have a look at the, the wonderful site that is a deep sea trench. Which I haven't been down for a while. And this particular building here, this is where one of the uh, the essences of power? I don't think it's the power stone. But um, after you've done the power stone quest, you come down here, you can get the essence of power. Uh, there should be an altar somewhere around here. And even though these guys have got a distance of follow of high, they're still painfully close. Okay, I'm going to see if we can find this altar again. It's been a while. No, that's not the altar. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't appear until you've actually done the power stone. Which kind of makes sense. Normally there is an altar somewhere here that you can actually touch. And it does the whole essence of power thing. Anyway, uh, let's just keep wandering the wonderful sights that are down here and not fight crabs because the crabs just don't work. I suppose we. What was that noise? We could try um, harvesting some things. Oh, I'm now down to freezing. So minus 15 instead of minus 14. And I've now got hypothermia again, even with the ridiculous gear that I have now. <sighs> Ooh, hello. Now uh, that looks interesting. Let's get over there. And notice my oxygen. My oxygen is just going beautifully right now. I've got plenty of time. Yep, 20 minutes basically. But we want that. Come on. Can we attack it or not? Come on, you. There they go. Nice. Let's see if they can do it. Oh, they're hammering it. Nice. Hmm? What happened? Get it. Oh, it's stuck in the wall. Right, that's a bit of a flaw in the design as well. Creature's getting stuck. Oh, it healed the fool. Come on, we've got to get it away from the wall. It's going to kill my bloody dolphin again. Okay, we're away from the wall now. Okay, so when it has a hold of a dolphin, it doesn't attack anymore. Keep attacking. It's gaining a lot of health. Again, it's got a dolphin, and by having that dolphin, it's uh, healing its health way too quick. Come on, get it. Whee, we got one. And I had to very, very quickly put infinite stats back on then because I was just about to die. 
I just noticed something as I was re-watching the video and it's in, I'm editing. Notice that when I jump off the dolphin uh, and jump back on, the temperature changes from not so cold to extra cold. And I think earlier I saw that it actually went from not so cold to not cold at all. I think there might be something going wrong with the temperature on the dolphin. Well, that will do. Uh, it's very interesting to come back down here again after such a long time and test out the dolphins. Uh, at this stage it's probably not a very viable thing and hopefully there'll be uh, potentially some updates when they realise what it's like to be down here with a dolphin. Unless of course they're not actually anticipating people coming down here with a dolphin even though um, the, the teaser trailer actually had the uh, dolphin swimming in the trench. You'd think that, that um, having done that little teaser they would have realised that you can't actually survive down here as it currently is. That being said, it does look like there's a little bit of a, a bug with the, the dolphins and temperature. When you are riding the dolphin, the temperature is worse than it when you are off the dolphin, uh, which was a, a little bit of a strange find just then that I um, did while I'm editing this video. Uh, so I'm actually re-recording my finishing component here as it is. Um, that being said, uh, I'm, I enjoy coming back down here again. It's a, it's a lovely area. I kind of wish the uh, upper area of the ocean actually had the same visibility as the deep sea trench. Uh, the clarity and being able to see what's going on around you is, uh, it makes for a much nicer visage. Maybe they can put an item in the game that would allow you to do that. Uh, some kind of goggles maybe, I don't know. Um, Alright, well, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting watching uh, this testing with the dolphins down in the deep sea trench. And... I'm not even sure what I'm going to do next with Atlas. We'll wait and see what the next patch is and potentially I'm going to restart my game so that I can experience what it's like to try and gain uh, gold under the new system. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.